but I think life is never easy or how do you look towards life I know you told me last time with your daughter your life changed immensely and everything is great now but yes. still life is gruesome isn't it well yeah I mean it's never easy I mean uh, you know yeah none of it's none of it's easy but I think the thing you know we tend to take things for granted you know as, as, as human beings you know with these weird animals human beings we forget that each breath that we take is a blessing, each and every breath. Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's November 2024 and we've got some electrifying Johnny Depp news to dive into. You won't want to miss this. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you never miss an update. Now let's get into the latest Depp developments. All right, folks. Today we're diving into a story that's both heartwarming and heart-wrenching, a tale of tragedy and support, featuring none other than the legendary Johnny Depp. As you might have heard, Spain has been battling a relentless storm system since late October. Starting on the 29th, this storm, named Dana, has been causing widespread flooding and devastating structural damage, particularly in regions like Valencia, Albacete, and parts of Andalusia. As of today, the storm is still going strong and the impact has been catastrophic, with a growing number of people affected and many lives lost. It's a tragedy that's left the country reeling, and it's in these tough times that we often see the true spirit of people, and that includes our favorite celebrities. Now, Johnny was in Spain for the Seville European Film Festival to present his latest directorial project, Modi, Three Days on the Wing of Madness. It's a film about the life of Italian artist Amadeo Modigliani. And while it's a celebration of art and cinema, Johnny made sure to take a moment to address the elephant in the room, the devastating aftermath of Dana. In his heartfelt speech, Johnny expressed his deep connection with Spain, recalling his previous visit for the San Sebastian Film Festival. He talked about how it was an honor and privilege to be in the country and commended the resilience and strength of the Spanish people. You could see the genuine concern in his eyes as he described the current circumstances as devastating and catastrophic. He didn't hold back on his empathy, stating, Our whole hearts are with the people of Spain. But Johnny didn't just stop at words of support. He went a step further, offering his willingness to help in any way possible. He said, We would like to do everything we can to help in any way highlighting the importance of art and cultural events as spaces for connection, empathy, and shared experience, especially during challenging times. It's moments like these that remind us that celebrities are more than just the characters they play or the songs they sing. They're people with hearts and souls, and when they use their platform to bring attention to important causes, it's truly inspiring. But what about Johnny Depp's latest career news? That's right, he's got a new movie role and it's shaping up to be a big one. Let's find out. Johnny is set to team up with the stunning Penelope Cruz for a new flick called Day Drinker. Now, if you're thinking this is just another romantic comedy set in some exotic location, think again. This film promises suspense, action, and a whole lot of intrigue. The story kicks off with Depp playing a cruise ship bartender who crosses paths with a mysterious day drinker, played by Penelope Cruz. And let me tell you, this isn't your average meet-cute. Their encounter drags them into a world of crime, with the action unfolding across the gorgeous coasts of France, Portugal, and Spain. But here's the exciting part. A significant chunk of the film is going to be shot in the breathtaking Canary Islands. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Canary Islands have become quite the hotspot for Hollywood productions. We're talking A-listers like Liam Neeson, Demi Moore, and even Sylvester Stallone gracing its shores. And with Johnny and Penelope joining the ranks, the islands are only solidifying their reputation as a global filming destination. This isn't the first time Johnny and Penelope are sharing the screen. Remember Blow? Or how about Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides? And who can forget their stellar performances in Murder on the Orient Express? Their on-screen chemistry is undeniable, and we can't wait to see what they bring to Daydrinker. 
At the helm of this project is Mark Webb, the director behind the amazing Spider-Man films and the romantic hit 500 Days of Summer. With a script penned by Zach Dean and the backing of Lionsgate, this movie is shaping up to be a must-watch. Filming is expected to start soon, so keep your eyes peeled for more updates. We can't wait to see Johnny and Penelope back in action, and we're especially excited to see the stunning visuals the Canary Islands will bring to the big screen. So, what do you think about Johnny's new role? Are you excited to see him and Penelope team up again? Let us know in the comments below. Okay, it's time to get to the most interesting news lately. It's been a couple of years since the high-profile defamation trial against Amber Heard, and yet the rumor mill keeps churning out stories about his love life, particularly involving his powerhouse lawyer, Camille Vasquez. You might remember that back in 2022, Vasquez was instrumental in helping Depp win that controversial case. And ever since, there's been this persistent whisper that maybe, just maybe, there's something more than just a professional relationship between the two. But let's pump the brakes a bit, because Vasquez has recently stepped up to set the record straight. In a chat with Extra, she was pretty clear about where she stands. Let me just go on the record here, she said, never dated Johnny Depp, never would date Johnny Depp. Now, don't get her wrong, she thinks Depp is a lovely person, but he's just not her type. Fair enough, right? Vasquez also gave us a little insight into their current relationship. They keep in touch, sure, but it's more of a friendly professional vibe. Occasionally, they'll catch up in a group text, but it's not like they're sending each other love notes or anything. Funny enough, she first heard about these dating rumors from her parents back in 2022. Can you imagine that conversation? Mom? Dad? No, I'm not dating Johnny Depp. Now pass the potatoes, please. She shot down those rumors pretty quickly in an interview with People, calling them 100%, unequivocally not true. But let's address the elephant in the room. Some people thought her interactions with Depp were a bit too friendly, maybe even unprofessional. Vasquez had a response for that too. She said her rapport with Depp was no different from her other professional interactions. Was she disappointed by the perception? Yeah, a bit. But surprised? Not so much. The rumors are just that rumors. As of the end of 2024, Johnny Depp and Camille Vasquez are not an item, and it doesn't look like that's going to change anytime soon. But hey, who knows what the future holds? But the latest news, which only recently came to light, will definitely surprise you. Johnny Depp, the man who brought Captain Jack Sparrow to life, has been through a lot over the years. From his iconic roles to his personal life, he's seen it all. But this story, this one's a doozy. As we're gearing up for the holidays, word has it that a secret admirer decided to prepare a rather extravagant gift for Johnny. And when I say extravagant, I mean a cool $1 million extravagant. This wasn't just any gift, it was a yacht, completely transformed into the Black Pearl from Pirates of the Caribbean. Imagine this a yacht with hand-carved wooden parts, antique nautical maps, and even a pirate flag flying high. The attention to detail was insane. Inside, there were luxurious staterooms and a collection of rare wines that would make any pirate envious. It was like stepping onto the set of the movies, but this was real life. Now, you'd think that someone would jump at the chance to own something like this, right? Well, not Johnny Depp. In a move that's left many of us scratching our heads, Johnny politely declined the gift. You see, Johnny's been on a journey to find some peace and quiet in his life. He's been trying to step away from the spotlight and the constant association with his iconic character, Jack Sparrow. Having a pirate-style yacht sailing around would have just drawn too much attention, and that's the last thing he wanted. So, as we approach the new year, Johnny's decision serves as a reminder that sometimes, the most valuable things aren't the material possessions, but the peace and quiet we find in our lives. It's a testament to his character and his desire for a simpler life. Johnny Depp has once again shown us that he's more than just the characters he plays on screen. He's a man with principles and a desire for a quieter life, even if it means turning down a $1 million gift. 
And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching it with us, but hey, don't stop now. We've got more awesome videos for you to check out.